Hey everyone, Strawman here. This is going to be an after action video report of Matt Watson's operator first aid class that I took July 30th. Now, why did I take this class? I'm a 25 year firefighter medic, but I haven't taken any medical training since I left the fire department. I'm also a firearms instructor, but I haven't done nearly enough training this year in firearms. Now you got to remember that these are perishable skills, so anytime you get the opportunity, take it. Speaking of opportunity, it also gave me the opportunity to test my gear. I always want to constantly test my gear to make sure that it's effective and efficient. Now, what did I expect out of this class? Well, I expected to refresh some of those skills. I expected to learn new things because Matt Watson is a very smart individual. and. I expected to test my gear. So, what did I take away from this class? Well, I took away a lot of new equipment and how to use it. I took away newer ways to use the old equipment. And I also took away a different mindset. As compared to a firefighter medic, this is where you're basically taking care of someone on the field or out in the public under fire. Now also, you're also taking care of people that have just major trauma. There doesn't have to be any gunfire involved. It could be a stab wound. So you're learning how to take care of those major traumas also. Now I also learned a few different acronyms. I'm always used to ABC. Well now they got one that's called MARCH. Massive hemorrhaging, airway, circulation, respiration, and hypothermia. That's a new one. So now as a layman or someone who hasn't had that type of medical training, don't let that scare you off because still take this class because you'll still understand it. The way Matt breaks it down, you will be able to understand it. So now the last thing, but not necessarily the least important, is I also took away stress inoculation. When you're providing care under stress, under fire, that helps you. That helps you inoculate from that stress. So the next time you're in that situation, you're gonna have that memory. So now, who should take this class? Well, if you own a firearm, if you carry a firearm every single day with medical, or if you have a firearm in your house. Now, People that took this class, that I took this class with, I believe they left with a better understanding of trauma. Now they weren't all medics, they weren't all EMTs, uh, they all weren't dressed up in their little hero suit, uh, some didn't have chest rigs, so it, it's not geared toward just a specific um, people. So if you want to learn more about Matt Watson's class, Go to toc-llc.com and he'll have a list of all of his classes up there or you can visit his Facebook page. I'll leave the links down in the description box when I post the video. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want more, hit the, the uh, subscribe button. Now, this is going to be the first part in a two-part series. I'm also going to be reviewing the gear that I use during the class. So that's going to be uh, on a different page. It's not probably not going to be on a review page, but go see it. And remember, your walls are your training. Make sure they're strong. Thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, that loosened it up. Bring it. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Strawman here.